that you cannot just go and start selling on Monoba's land. When people are so running to a Monoba that somebody has, people are stealing their land, the Oba should come to their aid. And the Oba will really come to their aid to ensure that their land are secure. Then some people are going to even take Oba's land. That's an abomination. It's an aberration. It's a contraction. It's not accepted at all. It cannot be accepted. So, for that land in Ukiri, whether it was uh, a Nogi of Ukiri and a Nogi of Ulegun, that we are having issues, with, both of them we are aware that that portion belongs to the Oba of Bini. People ought to have stayed clear from it, but they did not. But what we did, because we need that land, we need that land for very important reason. Hello everyone, welcome to another show on Nebo TV. My name is Agbaje Onome. I'm super excited to be on the show today. If you're just stopping by on this channel for the first time, kindly click on the subscription button and notification bell to always get updates from Nebo TV. All right, on the program today, we're going to be talking about the issue of land grabbing in a dual state. This has reached its climax over the days. It has caused chaos and social unrest in some communities in the past few days now. This issue has led to the recent arrest of the Secretary of Benin Traditional Council, Mr. Frank Irabo, and six others by the Edo State Police. After the demolition of houses in Ulegon community, the owners of the houses went to the Edo State Government House protesting against the destruction of their houses. 1974, 19th case They were born in Ogi. They were born before they, they were born upon me this case. This case ever since, my husband, my father-in-law, Georgia, in Winner. My husband, Georgia, he winner. This is no gay oh, this is my picky oh, he winner too. But never in time when we hear say they cut land for another person for that place. I don't know who said them oh, they come from palace. They begin to destroy house. Who said Una? The secretary of uh, Urban Ha, ah, no. I don't know who said that. Make Una help me find person when the Senna God destroy the whole house. A group of persons from the palace chiefs, led by, led by the secretary of the Oba of Benin, Frank Rabo, came and said that the properties, they were ordered to destroy the properties. We don't know who ordered them. All we know is that we asked questions. Why were we not notified? We don't know. They said there was a discrepancy of land issue. We said we are only developers. They called me on Friday, getting there and saw my house destroyed. They destroyed without notification. Where will I start from? I must commend all of you for conducting yourself orderly and coming to the authorities to report all your grudges. I want to assure you, please keep on going out, going uh, about your normal activity. I know it's difficult. The pains are so much. Things are so difficult now. But I want to plead with you, this is a government that cares about its citizens. I want to assure you, we're looking to the... But Frank Erabo argues that the houses were built on the land that belongs to the Oba of Benin. Listen to Frank Erabo's statement. That particular land is of great significance to the palace. Because Ulegun, the Nogi of Ulegun, and the Nogi of Ukiri, because they were having issues, they were going to court. Omonoba has already weighed into the matter before. Somehow, the matter still found its way to the court. We respect constituted authority. The federal government is the sovereign authority for now. We know. But the Beni tradition remains is very dynamic, is pragmatic. It is not repugnant to natural justice. But you cannot just go and start selling on Monoba's land. When people are so running to a Monoba that somebody has, 
People are stealing their land. The Oba should come to their aid. And the Oba will really come to their aid to ensure that their land are secure. Then some people are going to even take Oba's land. That's an abomination. It's an aberration. It's a contraction. It's not accepted at all. It cannot be accepted. So, for that land in Ukiri, whether it was uh, a Nogi of Ukiri and a Nogi of Ulegun, that we are having in Shuzo, both of them we are aware that that portion belongs to the Oba of Bini. People ought to have stayed clear from it, but they did not. But what we did, because we need that land, we need that land for very important reason. We need that land because of its significance. And I say, other land that they have encroached upon, we did not take action. But this one, we are going to clear it. That's how we went there and clear it. It's Omonoba's land. The people that built on it, let them go to the people that sold to them. Here's a motion as part of remand proceedings brought before the State High Court against seven persons, including the Secretary of the Benin Traditional Council, Frank Irabo, by the State Commissioner of Police, Justice Isuele, noted that a six-count charge was entered against them and they bothered on felony to wit for suit takeover of land in Olegu and promotion of intercommunal war. The judge says the decision of the defendants to willfully and unlawfully demolish houses belonging to different individuals amounts to malicious damage and is punishable by law. She thus ordered their remand until September 15, 2022, pending the rendering of legal advice on the case from the Office of the Director of Public Persecution, DPP, in the State Ministry of Justice. Probably responded to the outcry of the people of Ulegon community and arrested the secretary of the Ober of Benin and others that were allegedly accused of demolishing the houses of what they said belonged to the land grabbers. The court has decided to keep them in police custody until September 15, 2022. We hope this case will be peacefully settled and those arrested will be released as soon as possible. And that's the end of the news for now. We will update you on any development regarding this case. Thanks for watching.